Hey, and it's not raining. No, the sun's out. I don't know how long for. It's a bit cloudy. It's a long train journey was about two hours for us, but it wasn't too bad. Everyone had the masks on, which was quite pleasant. It made it a bit more safe. And all the underground was quite quiet, wasn't it? So uh, we're just about to go check into our hotel. Good pace. Oh yeah, Let's check out. Early. It's four o'clock. Four o'clock. We're checking in. So a bit of a late check out. Hey, hey, hey. This is our hotel. Very tall building. Fish finger sandwiches and chips. Looks amazing. We're both starving, so came right time. I'm not eating. Uh, no, it's two o'clock and we're not eating yet. <laughs> We've arrived at our room. They did let us check in an hour earlier. It's normally £10 to check in early, but they let us for free. I think they felt sorry for us because it was raining. So, bathroom. In here. And then you come to the main sitting area, it's a nice little settee, I'm loving the pink. Sitting area and TV. And then, I didn't realise it, it came with like a little kitchen, so you get your microwave, you've actually got a Nutribullet in here, oven. I mean, we'll be going out every night, but really handy, especially for breakfast. You can get breakfast here, it's £12.50 a day. And then the bed. Somewhere to hang all your bits and bobs. There was actually a yoga mat in there as well, Robert found. He found a bit of yoga. And then, this is a skyline room. So, this is our view. And this is to the right of us. And then to the left, we've got this. Really nice. So we've got the gherkin there, cheese grater, and this is part of the hotel. Yeah, really, really happy. Yeah, it smells amazing in here as well. It's the first thing we noticed when we walked in. Like, it smells so good. So we are on the 22nd floor. So it's quite a way down. Yeah, it's just amazing. There's a couple more bits. There's a safe in here. And then it's a yoga mat. And then there's a hair dryer. And then in here. This made me laugh. <laughs> Little slippers made out of bamboo. You want them? They don't look very comfortable, but at least they're environmentally friendly. Well, I think this hotel is quite economically friendly. Economically? No. Environmentally. Yeah. Eco-friendly. Oh, yeah. Ow! Without encouraging to recycle your food waste. Oh. Ecova stuff. Oh yeah, something I definitely like. And then also... Oh, recycling. Recycling as well. That's good. Because we do this at home, so it's really good to be able to come away and do it. Oh, there's a hop here too. Yeah. Can see that. All your implements. Oh. It's like a little apartment really, isn't it? Yeah. Awesome. Mm. And then coffee. Fortunately, it doesn't have a coffee machine. That's why we ought to start bringing it. <laughs> like I say, Nutribullet. Not just some mugs. And then this one's a fridge. 
and that tiny freezer. So you can bring some frozen, obviously buy some frozen stuff if you want to. But you won't fit much in there. Really nice though. You happy? Yes, amazing. Yeah. Wash machine. Live longer with cow gone. It smells so good. <laughs> it does. And then there's loads of little information on here. So what's the hotel called? Lehman, Lehman Lock. Lock. So yeah. Lock Hotels are a chain. Mm. We're near St Paul's now, aren't we? Mm. I don't know. Minute, minute more. Oh, it's alright then. Not bad, not bad. We're just going to chill for a bit now, aren't we? And then we're going to go out for some food and then go somewhere very exciting. Oh, cocktails. Yes, yes. So, we've been before. But we're going to one of my favourite places here, which is Cahoots. Um, and I absolutely love it. So it's like an old war bunker. Um, we've opened some new bits up. But I'm so excited. So I'm going to do my hair and victory rolls. Get ready. Excited. So we actually used some vouchers for this room um, from Buy a Gift. Um, a couple of people got us a two night break one. Um, so how much extra did we pay? Uh, extra? Yeah. Oh. This room's like £40 or oh. £40. Yeah. Do it like it's expensive. But yeah, so the vouchers normally cost £100 for two nights and then the 150 extra that we paid. So yeah, worth it though. What are you doing? Look at the way! Sounds like something out of a horror film. <laughs> Simple things. Hmm. It's probably that ugly. So Robert's unpacking while I do some editing and he's moaning at me. What are you moaning at me I've for? Got three shirts. Oh lord. Here yeah. we go. And here we go. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, three, <laughs> four, mm -hmm. five, six. It's not looking good, is it? Eight. Nine. How long are we here for? Three nights. Look, I have a day dress and a night dress. Who agrees? Comment down below. Tell him he's wrong. Be on my side. No. <laughs> what are we doing? Running late for a change. Got in the room at three o'clock. It's now half past six. We're running late. Yeah. We look at yeah. How does that even happen? No victory rolls. Because they're very difficult. Done it before, but I just couldn't do it today. <laughs> no. How are we running late? Twice. One day. the wrong day. So you the meal for tomorrow instead yeah. of today. And the waitress just laughed at me. I did. So mm. we're now trying to find some else to eat. And it's, uh, it's not difficult. going well. <laughs> and it's still raining. So yeah, we're on <laughs> Carnaby Street and there's just people everywhere. So it's everywhere raining. is full. Oh, the Lord. Oh, we gone. shall, uh, we shall let you know. Where we end up. Food's arrived, I've got the penne arabiata, and then Robert, you just went, can I have a chicken breast, please? <laughs> <laughs> it is the polo milanese. Yeah. I'm not Italian. No, but chicken breast. Polo milanese. <laughs> Found somewhere to eat. In a house. Yeah. But it's, house. It was, it was good. Nice food, three courses, 20 pounds, yeah. can't complain. Except for the, there was a 12.5% service charge added, 
which we would, we always pay, right? We always tip. But this guy, he couldn't even bother to look at us. And he was taking the food order, could he? No, he was just like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, definitely recommend it. Yeah, I think it was a odd one actually, because Natalia said to me a few days ago that she'd wanted yeah. to go to Spaghetti House. <laughs> so maybe it was. I car didn't go into your phone and edit the fucking. <laughs> So the papers are menu. Quite many good things. Because I put on the booking pool that it was on his birthday. They gave us some socks. And a car! Spiffing news or beans. It says, what ho scoundrel? And I hope you're having most marvellously spiffing and smashing birthday celebrations with us. With love, the captain and his scoundrels. That's so awesome. Cheers! Cheers, bye! <laughs> you not gonna drink it? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> How cool is this? Lovely mama. The mama just very well being put inside. Look at that. Cute. This is a Kahooch old fashioned, which is Kahooch Ferne Granka Amaro chocolate syrup and Gostora orange bitters and Angostura cocoa bitters. Mm. And I've got a Hacienda Splendor, Santa Teresa 1796 rum, Banks Five Island rum, coconut coffee, banana, and lime. Mm. Cheers! Oh, sorry, <laughs> in London. I just had the uh, first night in our hotel, Lehman Lock. It was did you have a good night's sleep? Yeah. Nice. It's really good. Um, we're just on the way to Sky Garden. So a lot of people go up the Shard and up St mm -hmm. Paul's Cathedral and the London Eye. To pay. See, they didn't pay a lot of money, yeah. yeah. But you can go up the Sky Garden for free. Yeah. You just book the book. You up. have to make sure you book both yeah. three weeks in advance. Was it three weeks? Get released, yeah. Yeah. Worth it for your tickets. And then there's lots to do at the top. Yeah, but it's nice. it's... We'll show you now. So this is where we're heading, this one here. It's about a 15 minute walk, so not bad at all. So it's literally the same view up here, and like we say, this is free. So, a few points of interest. So, there's the Tower London there, Tower Bridge, City Hall, Where? 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 Obviously the Shard. Or a market. Yeah, or a market underneath. Yeah, yeah. 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 so London Bridge. Millennium, no. no. Which, is that Millennium Bridge? Millennium Bridge. Yeah, yeah so you should recognise that from Harry Potter. London Eye, just so there. Like, Fire of London, designed by Christopher Wren. Mm. And then at HMS Belfast. Yep. Yeah. I think if we go that way, you'll see some pools. Mm. So there's about five grid, and then some pools, cathedral. And then in the distance, you can just make it out Wembley.
really good views. Yeah, definitely got there, but not the shard. Yeah, well, I mean, we've been up the shard as well, and it is good up there. It's different to obviously there. Yeah, um, but it's best free. Yeah, it's free. <laughs> you've got the lovely gardens. You've got nice places to eat and drink. Very windy. Sorry. It's just quite windy. <laughs> So yeah. we've got two hours now um, to kill a bit of time. We're going to go for coffee and then where are we going? Oh, I'm going for donuts. What? Two hours time? Oh, two hours time. I thought we were going to show you the donuts now. Yeah. Well, we are, but yeah, we're going to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant for a beef Wellington experience. I got a bit of his birthday. So. I know, I'm really excited. Really you had it back in Vegas, didn't yes. you? In his Hell's Kitchen restaurant. We live the Vegas dreams. That's it. We will get back one day. <laughs> So this is where Robert thought we were going in two weeks, two hours time. But if you're ever in London, you need to come to Donut Time. It's one of our must stops. They are amazing. It's another one you wanted to try, the Fairway. Yeah, the Fairway one. This is my favourite though, the Bruno Mars. Amazing. Oh, it's been renamed Bruno Mars. Oh, maybe it was. I think it might have been Bruno Mars, to be fair. No, I think it was. No, it wasn't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Liam Hemsworthy. David Hassel. That's what I like. Yeah. Pull them in this one. Gordon Jamsey. That's what I like. I mean, they are pretty pricey. They are £4.50 each or £4.16, but trust me when I say they are worth it. So, because we're going to a restaurant and then we've got the theatre later, we're not going to get donuts now, but we will get them at some point, won't yeah, we? Yeah, we will get them. Yes, definitely. They only carry them around. I've carried around no. some Krispy Kremes in Liverpool. Uh, <laughs> no, it's quite <laughs> Those uh, to wear donuts anymore. <laughs> Still good though. How amazing is this building? Like Robert says, you need to walk looking up, not looking at the floor. I know I tend to do that sometimes. Amazing. We went down the little steps next to this pub. Hmm. You can hear that singing. Shakespeare's Globe is just there. And there must be some play going on. You can hear. all sorts of stuff on this beach. Well, is it a beach? Riverbank, and there's even some bone. Not sure what it's from. But... So this is Fruiterer's Passage, I think I'm saying it right. It's one of the walkways between the, um, along the Thames, on the side of where St Paul's is. in the Three Barrels Walk. Shakespeare's Globe over there. Like I say, I think there's a play going on so you can hear. <laughs> So this is the Tate Modern Building, Boris just said it was in the last Mission Impossible with my favourite guy, Chisel Chin, and obviously I know exactly who he's on about, Henry Cavill. <laughs> Chisel Chin. So we're just going for a bit of a mooch round really. Yeah. It's nice though, isn't it? Yeah, I love walking along the river. Oh, it disappeared, oh. sorry. <laughs> Don't want me in it. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, like I said, we normally walk down the other side of the river, but um, well, yeah. this side was loads of different little bits, like yeah. that um, passageway. Yeah, you it's don't really nice. you notice a lot of stuff no. just walking along. Yeah, yeah. Better See, than the <laughs> Yeah, it's better than. It is good sometimes just to walk around London. Yeah. And, and it's amazing what you can discover and learn about. Just soaking the sight. Yeah. Okay. 
purple is this? A mosaic. Hmm. That's a bit of a timeline, but I looked through it, it's like the Fire of London, City Walls built, wine. Hmm? I mean, wine is always important. Roman London, Saxon Street, hmm. Plague Strikes. I mean, we're not doing it today, but if you do go into a tower of the um, London dungeons, a lot of it is about the plague here. Yeah, awesome. We have the Millennium Bridge in Harry Potter. If you remember it, it's in a half blood print when all the, de the Dementors are coming out and it all falls apart and starts playing everywhere. Awesome. <laughs> can you remember our Harry Potter walking door? Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah. And you, uh, we followed this woman around and she kept holding a wand up in the air like, <laughs> You were like, mm, we're not with them. But it was actually really good. I think it was like £15 from Berry or something like that. I'd love to do it again, to Yeah, be you go round on a bus to all the um, stops where we filmed Harry Potter. So yeah. like where we filmed Wingarts. Yeah, and then um, there's obviously Diagon Alley in the first film, which yeah. is at Leaden Hall Market. Yeah, um, it was really good. Yeah, really good. For the price well. And you got to see Liz London because you just on a bus going around. It was just a bit embarrassing when you got out of it. No. It was. Not if you're a proper Harry Potter fan. Oh, okay. Hello, <laughs> Millennium <laughs> Bridge. Awesome views. That's what I love about London. Just to you can just take a minute and just relax, even though it's so busy. Yeah. You've got buskers, the sun's out, people are enjoying themselves. Proper city vibes. Yeah. <laughs> One thing to note about this bridge, you can't see through it. Because when we brought our friend, she's scared of heights. She's like, I can't see through it, can you? I'm like, no. You're good. <laughs> Definitely a must for London if you come in. It's amazing inside, like there's the Whispering um, Gallery, I think that. Yeah, it might be Whispering Gallery. But the best bit is you can stand just here, probably see the people. When we were up there, there were some nesting peregrine falcons, you could hear them flying around. Amazing. However, it is not a nice journey up there, is it? Oh, no, there's that. <laughs> wow. So, we were just saying, the walk up. St Paul's is not nice, is it? No, the stairs are quite scary. They are. You've got you twisty, turny them. ones, yeah. narrow, yeah. duck, yeah. edge. Yeah, it's, but it's gymnast. worth it. It is worth it when you get up there and you're like, oh, yeah, you just relax. Think, and then you have to do it all again all the way down. <laughs> yeah, the thing about the view from the top of St Paul's is it's uninterrupted. Yeah. You can see without looking Any through glass, glass there's yeah. nothing in the way, and that's what does make it well and truly amazing yeah. it's like a proper 360 degree view of the city yeah is it a whispering gallery in there it's not yeah there's a yeah. whispering gallery which actually 
really does Yeah, it's work. amazing. You can it's sit amazing. on opposite sides and talk yeah. to each other. It's quite impressive. Yeah, it is. No, we love it. Um, we got a voucher and it was drawing with the Marco Pierre White oh, heel. Yeah, yeah. I think it was £50. Yeah, that's um, like a version experience. experience. Yeah, yeah. So these vouchers are definitely worth it. Normally they're on offer, but you can get like 20%, 10% off. And that's how we do most of our bits yeah. and bobs, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, definitely worth getting. So if you've never been to London before, on all like the um, payments, sort of read maps, and it can tell you how far away you are from bits and bobs. So a 10 minute walk from the circle. Obviously we're not this big everywhere, but this one's also got like signposts of what bits are. Really useful, we use them quite a bit. I know we have our phones, but when you pass one of these, it's just useful to have a look sometimes. it's included and it is a grey goose royale so it's grey goose vodka apple lemon passion fruit and prosecco it smells amazing doesn't it so we have tuna tartar chicken wings and beef Salt. brisket yeah something yeah salted beef brisket that's it yeah. amazing so the main has arrived, obviously beef wellington. So medium rare with some chocolate mash. Amazing. Mm. So we've got pudding, even though we've not really got enough room for it. So this was a pineapple, passion fruit and melon little thing. fruit salad thing. With coconut sorbet, um, a cheesecake. Look how much she said. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh. my sorbet, caramel sorbet That's and chocolate cake. fondant. And then, because it's uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's a brownie. How cute. And I got something too. A sack yeah. too. Yeah. A bit embarrassing, but thank you, sweet pie. <laughs> so excited. All of this is mine. And a little bad eat from it. That's all right, isn't it? Uh, no. no. <laughs> and see. It's very sunny. How was your beef wellington? Oh, it was amazing. Honestly. That was a fantastic meal. So I pre bought a voucher and obviously paid online. Uh, for two people it's £130 and you got everything included that you saw and then we purchased a bottle of wine yeah you know when you're in a good place when there's a sommelier that tells you all about the wine even though we didn't use it like, like we want that one because it's not the cheapest it's the yeah. second cheapest the second one. cheapest <laughs> <laughs> but the wine's went up to like a thousand pounds so like no nah. and then yeah, he tells you about that. oh it's got minerality and yeah yeah like, of course okay. lovely okay. Oh, okay, thanks let's <laughs> get me drunk I'm going to need a nap now though yeah we've got so full Day drinking is good when it's sunny like this. No. <laughs> it was so nice though, I'd definitely go again. Yeah. Was it as good as the Beef Wellington in Vegas at Hell's um, Kitchen? So this one was obviously a massive one cut up. Um, where at Vegas it's a mini one. I think I preferred that one. Did you? Because the mushroom wasn't quite as yeah, overpowering. Yeah, a quite strong mushroom flavour. Yeah. yeah. But no, it was a great experience and uh, they sang happy birthday to it me at did. the end. did and then... <laughs> It's funny because they were like, happy birthday to Rupert. <laughs> so I said Robin. <laughs> oh, no, my lord. Oh, no. It was so cute. You know when someone stands there having a happy birthday and it's so awkward. They're like, you can go now. Thank you. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> this is fine. And so, yeah. and just behind us. Really nice. Oh, St Paul's Cathedral. So we're going to go walk down the river. Um, we we're going to get the tube into where we're going to see Les Mis concert. Oh yeah, there tonight, tonight. But we're going to walk, yeah. about an hour. Sunshine. So here we have old Blackfriars Bridge, which has just got like the foundations left. Blackfriars Train Bridge, and then new Blackfriars Bridge. Yeah. Oh. That's really bright. <laughs> it is. So we've been walking for like 20 minutes and we're too full, aren't we? Well. It's too hot. So we push that and we're listening to the Beatles next to the river. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's sleepy time. Waterloo Bridge. 
These were benches we just sat on. There wasn't they are, look camels. Look at it. It shows us we've left the city of London. So the city of London is actually only a square mile. Which is not a lot. So this is currently underwater bridge. Got drilling clay in it. Denise Van Alton. Very random place. So this is how many cyclists have cycled down this road this year. How insane is that? And then today, 5,404. Ah, oh. six. That's awesome. Held up with all its branches. Kids running around. Oh. So, London Eye takes around half an hour to go all the way around, and then this is County Hall. So, in here, you'll find Sea Life, um, London Dungeons, Shrek's Adventure, all million attractions if you have a million pass. But you can buy um, like packages with like, Madden Two Swords as well. Well worth a visit. This place is very popular. It's packed. Castle Castle, it's called. Looks nice though. Houses of Parliament. Westminster Abbey.
good to be back in these seats, isn't it? And we're back. We have got masks, by the way. We're just drinking. <laughs> So we just drive back at the room after Les Mis for concert. How good was that, though? Oh, amazing. So, Listen. so good to be back at the theatre. Yeah, yeah. And we had quite a few people around us. Um, so that it was, it was, it felt okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it feels safe because everyone has to either have had two jabs, mm -hmm. prove a negative test or have had COVID and recovered. Yeah. So it does make you feel safe and yeah. you do still have to wear your mask. Yeah, you do. Um, but... The, the show was just amazing. amazing. That's why when we came out, because it's just the songs. Yeah. Um, it's not like the whole production. Yeah, it's just the, the Um How can concept. they put so much emotion into yeah. just the songs and tell so much of the story? Like, if you'd never seen it, the, the original one, yeah. you'd know what was going on. Yeah. But if you've not it. seen it, I highly, highly, highly recommend picking up a DVD, getting oh, yeah. some cheap £25 tickets to come and see it at the, the theatre. Definitely. Yeah. You won't regret it. The story is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's one musical that I always says, oh, no. And I think everybody said, oh, like Miserables. miserables. <laughs> but the in-laws took us to see it in Birmingham mm. on the tour, on the, it's when it toured the yeah. UK and just, wow. Amazing. Amazing, so, amazing. really, yeah. really go and see it. Yeah. So we're going to end this video here because we've took quite a lot of footage and we don't want it to be like hours and hours of long footage. So we're going to split it into two. So do day one and two and then three and four. So if you've liked this first bit, Please subscribe and like the video and here's what's coming up in part two.